Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Got one coming. Let's see what we got. Natured alcohol. Now I'm not too worried about the track next to me since the high rail truck just got on. But who's to say something could come? So I'm looking and making sure there ain't nothing coming. Here comes the end with the bumper car. There she goes. Okay, well, we're gonna hang around the area some more and see what else we can get, so we'll be right back. Hey, the last train update, though. He was designated a 65K, originated out of Silver Warren, New Jersey, heading to Chicago, Illinois. Originally, I thought he said 59K, but it wasn't listed, but I got it right this time. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, back at you again. Standing right next to the signal here. <laughs> Got another uh, eastbounder on the Cleveland subdivision. So let's see what he's got. through Lorraine, Ohio. weird blue containers. I don't smell anything, so... <laughs> Corn 
corn syrup. 3257 paraffin wax. 1830 sulfuric acid. I saw something 20 something on there. The yellow one. Hydrochloric acid. Looks like a big handful of auto racks. And end is approaching. Looky over there. <laughs> I knew that one was coming over there to the distance. There she goes. Then we got this one over there. I was kind of hoping I'd catch this guy too, though, but guess it don't work out that way. I think I heard this train at the 2.39 in Sandusky, or is it 1.31? No, it had to be 2.39, otherwise I would have heard them. A DPU over there. Been getting in some long distance shots, I guess. <laughs> That's long distance. I think Gomer Pyle said that on the episode of the jet set when they got stuck on the airplane and they ended up over in London, England, France, or someplace. They went to call the base sergeant Carter, though. Gomer says, that is long distance. <laughs> Gotta love Gomer Pyle, USMC. There's the end approaching over there. I don't know how well this shot will come out, but I don't care. I'll get whatever I can get. There goes that one. Okay. I'm gonna go. Guess I'll go back down to the other cross and see if I catch something else coming. I know this turned out to be a pretty good uh, spot area today. So, all right, we'll be right back. Hey, okay, back at you again. Got an eastbounder here. He's designated as 22X. Originated 47th Street Yard, Chicago, Illinois. Is heading to C. So he's barreling on down here. Looks like another intermodal. And he is on the track next to me. 
So the high rail workers must have uh, got off earlier. Okay, well there she goes, so <laughs> another one here at Cohen Road, so alright, we'll see what else comes along, we'll be hey, right back. Back at you again, still here at uh, Cohen Road, got another eastbounder coming, he designated himself as 28M, originated from 63rd Street Yard, Chicago, Illinois, and he's heading to Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Here he comes. This don't look like too much here. He's on the other track. Is this a booby train? <laughs> it's another booby train. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Talk about short and sweet. <laughs> hey, up there, there's an old classic dinger, uh, monger dinger bell up there. So, those are hard to see anymore. Come by. But anyway, we got another one following uh, 28M coming, though. So, I don't know how far down the line he is, though, but I suspect he'll be coming shortly. And I think we got a westbound or two. So we got more coming, so we'll be right back. Back here, Portman Road. Here comes another train. And somebody's parked in my usual spot. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this is probably 17 in. See, I originally thought he was going to get on the Cleveland sub subdivision because in the notes, it states that he does uh, Mormon yard work. Anyway, I believe he's coming from Conway, uh, Yard, Pennsylvania, though, and heading someplace in Chicago. Comes the end of this one.
No, I'm not 100% of the train ID, but I'm going to go back around by Stanley Road and... Okay, he said 11 in. 223 westbound. All right, I'll be right back. Well, guess what? Off to the races again. I thought this train over here was on the Chicago line, but he's coming on the Cleveland subdivision. <laughs> Hopefully we can get up here. Yeah, I see the crossing down there. Looks like I'll make it. Caesar, those were not buzzards. <laughs> he barks at buzzards when he sees them in the road. Anyway, Fraley Road, off the races. Here goes the gates. And we're going to get this guy. And 265 behind me went by. Go figure. I got a double here. Two... There she goes. And way down there, you probably can't make it out. There is a train going by over there. <laughs> I guess it can't be two places at once. Alright, let's see what we can get into or what mess. <laughs> this turned out to be what a heck of a day. Alright, be right hey, back. back at you again. I got the other cross on Fraley Road. I do have an eastbounder coming, I think, behind me shortly. That train that went by at the other crossing was 17 in. I was waiting for him. Wanted to get down to that double bridge from the very beginning of the episodes here. And I don't know. Got confused and 265 went by here where I'm presently at. Then I heard something about 22G. So I got to figure out which is what here. So, all right, we'll be right okay, back. Okay, here comes this train here, westbound. I found out it's 23G. Uh, G. <laughs> Came from Croxton, New Jersey, heading somewhere in Chicago. Don't remember exactly. But here he comes. Looks like it could be another intermodal. I want to try to see if I can... I'm not sure how I want to approach this. Wait for that bungalow in a way. Special. Yeah, you got a bunch of rock and roll in action there. I gotta check out what that one NS engine was.
sucker's still a-coming. down there approaching. You got a yellow light up there, but I don't think there's anything coming. Although I'll keep an eye out. There's nothing down there. There she goes. Okay, I gotta go check out, see what that blue NS is all about. I don't know if it's special or not, but we'll probably catch another one or two. Then we're probably gonna call it quits for the days. I got a lot today, so okay, we'll hey, be right group, back. Got another one coming here, got an eastbounder. Still here at Fraley Road at the 226 mile marker. It's another intermodel. the end down there approaching but I think there's another one real close after this one because I heard another horn in the distance before this guy came up and it wasn't this guy Still it's coming way down there. Wow. This is a big one. There she goes. 
Okay. Now, I could have swore I heard another train horn down the distance, though, but in case I'm hearing things or something, I'm going nutsy in the head because I'll hear train horns in my sleep tonight. <laughs> anyway, if it does come by here, I'll put it out as a bonus, but for right now, though, we're going to call it quits, though. Anyway, so always bear this in mind. Always look and listen at the cross in here. Uh, sometimes these gates do malfunction time to time. That intermodal train is going to get a second chance. You don't. You ever get your car stuck on the track, so call the blue sign that's on the post immediately. Get everybody out of the car. Sometimes 911 would be too delayed. Same thing goes if you see somebody that's not supposed to be doing something on the tracks, tampering with equipment. Call that sign, though. He might avoid the, a potential disaster. Whatever you do, don't get the cops involved. They're going to turn it around on you. They're going to jail you, steal your money, your car, providing it survives. Hope that don't ever happen, though. They're just going to blah, 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 blah. Nobody wants that. Anyway, though, I'll give a thumbs up for the men and women of the railroad to keep America moving. We'll see you next time. Hey, group. Oh, I left that site, though, and I decided to go to Dairy Queen and get some better burger food or something. <laughs> hey, you remember 11Q with the vinyl chloride? Well, guess what? They tied this train down here on Jeffrey's Road, just south of here on Ohio. There's our vinyl chloride cars over there. That's one of them right there. Whoop, that was a little bit too much. But they tied it down, you know, and it goes all the way clear over to uh, River Road, I guess the front of it is. Near Mason Road. And it seems funny they'd be blocking the whole darn crossing here. <laughs> anyway, just a little uh, for your information, so... All right, I'm heading home, so not much of a flip there for bonus, so, but it is what it is. All right, we we'll see ya. Petticoat Junction.